David is on the line in San Antonio. Hi, David. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. How can I help? Um, so I'm just getting frustrated on getting started. Uh, my wife and I don't see eye to eye on finances ever. And I've, she's always done the finances. I've never said anything to her about it. And, you know, now that I'm, you know, figuring out how much we have in debt and we have 100000 in debt, we have, that's not including a $170,000 home. And she thinks the budget's silly. She thinks the snowball's silly. Uh, so, I mean, it's just almost impossible to get started. Uh, I have money in an emergency fund. Um, you know, I try to pay pay stuff off, and I know it's just difficult getting started. Okay. Well, I, um, I, I'm confused as to why she thinks those uh, the, the idea of being out of debt or the idea of having a plan is silly. Um, that's, I, I don't know, I couldn't tell you. We're both college-educated, and I don't know, she just... I've always let her pay the bills. Well, she's handled the money, and you're a hundred thousand dollars in debt. That sounds more that, silly than having a budget. That's that's what I said. Yeah. So. Um, but then, then, but it, it comes off as a you know, hey, this is a personal attack on how I'm doing stuff, which it's not. You know, hey, we need to get out of this. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, yeah, I think. Um, Probably the first thing is is that you owe her an apology for all the years of you not helping her with this subject and her, leaving it on her to make the decisions by herself and then just couch it. And this is not a personal attack, but I'm just very interested in helping now, and I want us to work together. And, um, you know, uh, if, if you guys can't work together on your life goals, you don't have a financial problem. You have a marriage problem. Um, but it could just be your approach is lousy. That you're, you know, you're being a bull in a china shop, and you may just need to sit down and, uh, you know, talk, start talking about. I really am so excited about where we would be if we didn't have any debt, and the only way I know how to get out of debt is to have a plan to get out of debt. What do you think? You think we ought to stay in debt? You think this hundred thousand is working for us? I mean, you know, and just start talking to her like that, and instead of um, start throwing what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do. Let's talk about why we're doing stuff. And why you're excited about it, and it, you know, does that not make sense to you? And then back into the what. But a lot of times, guys in particular, we start with the what and not the why. And that's the thing. So um, you know, do that, and and maybe go through Financial Peace University together. And that might be a way to do it. So um, check in. Uh, you know, ho hold on, and I'll have Kelly pick up, and we'll give you. A financial peace university membership and it, i'm not gonna give it to you if you can't get her to go but if you can get her to because you don't want to go without her it'll cause a divorce <laughs> it cause cause it to be worse because you'll get more excited and she'll be less excited but if you can get her to go to the group with you i'll i will give you the program it's called financial peace university in only nine weeks you go once a week for nine weeks to the group and then you got a year access to every dollar and every dollar plus and um you know, that's what you do there. So hold on, I'll have Kelly pick up, and maybe if you can get her to do that, that might might be a way to get you guys on the same page. And maybe she could start to understand why you're excited about this, not just what you're trying to do. There is a difference. So, hey, thank you for the call, man. Hold on, Kelly will pick up.